Nick Wright, first things first, co-host of Fox Sports 1. My day is always better when I talk to Nick. I saw his tweet this morning that I am just astounded by how many of my colleagues love the Bills this week. Love them in big letters. Ready to anoint Josh Allen. Ready to throw dirt on Mahomes. The whole thing we'll discuss. Plus, is this Tom Brady's last game? Will the Niners beat Rodgers again? Wow. How did your tweet sound with a professional reading it? I got it. You know, you're being self-congratulatory and patronizing per usual, but it sounded great. That can, that can, I mean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, that's why he's Dan Patrick and I'm me. Like that really, I, I can you record my outgoing voicemail for me? I would. Do I mean, that. that really was great. I mean, I that was outstanding. It sounded great. Do you agree with me though, Dan? A little. The, the, the Josh... How long has Josh Allen been better than Patrick Mahomes? And, I, I mean, it's just the hype for this guy who 12 days ago almost lost to the Jets, 19 days ago literally had the worst game of his entire career. Meanwhile, Mahomes has never lost a home playoff game in regulation, has never been bad in a home playoff game. It seems like a little, you know, askew, feels a little bit like if mid conference second round, I'm sorry, second round of the NBA playoffs last year, if people were like, you know what? I think Trey Young's the best player in the NBA. Like, mm, <laughs> mm, slow down a bit for me, please. <laughs> Your voice is up uh, at a pretty high level. Like that's a new octave. Like that's a Mariah Carey octave that I am not uh, used to hearing out of you. Okay, so this segment starts off with me complimenting your voice and you just, for the first time in our relationship, taking a shot at mine. Yeah, Dan, I'm a little high-strung this weekend, my friend. I'm not going to lie to you. We got a lot on the line for your you know, television viewers. I'm literally wearing Chiefs red sweatpants. I'm ready to go. I'm excited for this football game and for this nonsense, these Bills <laughs> Mafia charlatans <laughs> that have been polluting my Twitter mentions for the better part of two years to put them down in the dirt. That's what I'm ready for. Okay, I'm with you. I have the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl facing the Packers. I'm I'm all in with you. Um, that was my prediction at the beginning of the year. I think the Chiefs uh, are going to win this game. I think we're drunk with love with the Bills, with the perfect game they played against the Patriots. Um, so I, I'm, I'm with you on that. And I do think that Josh Allen, the highs that he gives you, we, we, we sometimes forget the lows that he has as well. And, and his that, highs rival, I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah. his highs rival, Mahomes and Rodgers, yes. for the highest highs of the league, yeah. in the league. Yeah. The difference is his lows rival Zach Wilson's, and he hasn't gotten that out of his game yet. Meanwhile, Rodgers and Mahomes almost never have awful games. They might have awful games by their own standards. But their level of consistency is what separates them. But here's the other thing that just surprises me, Dan. That if we are just looking at this soberly, and could the Bills win? Of course. This is not better than a buy like the Steelers game was. What well, maybe my most iconic phrase. It's entered the sports canon now. Um, <laughs> but uh, so the Bills could win. Josh Allen could run for a bunch of yards. Maybe the Chiefs can't cover Stephon Diggs. But one team is at home. That team also has more dynamic playmakers, the better coach, and the better quarterback. The four biggest check marks are all on that side of the ledger. And I know folks will say uh, the Bills' defense is better. Maybe, but the Bills' defense also is coming off a stretch of 10 games against nine awful quarterbacks and Brady. And Brady beat them. So I think the Bills' defense might be a touch overrated. I'm just, the Chiefs not being three point favorites at home, Dan is the most insulting thing that's happened to the city of Kansas City since Bart, since you guys did your stupid barbecue tour and that doofus was like, Texas barbecue's better. Remember that? <laughs> that carried your show for six weeks. You're welcome for that one, pal.